Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a tiny mouse named Milo. Milo was known for being very curious, always exploring the nooks and crannies of the village, but he was also a little careless. Nearby lived a big, fierce cat named Felix, who loved nothing more than chasing mice. All the mice in the village were terrified of him, and Milo was no exception. One sunny afternoon, Milo spotted a delicious piece of cheese left out on a windowsill. His nose twitched, and his tummy rumbled. He knew he had to be quick, but he couldn't resist. He scurried across the garden, not realizing that Felix was watching him from behind a bush. As Milo reached for the cheese, Felix pounced. Milo squeaked in fear and ran as fast as his tiny legs could carry him. Felix was fast, but Milo was clever. He darted between pots and under bushes, zigzagging and dodging. But suddenly, Milo found himself cornered against a wall with no escape. Felix approached slowly, his sharp teeth glinting in the sunlight. Aha, I've got you now, little mouse. Felix growled, his eyes gleaming, Milo, trembling, thought quickly. Wait, Mr. Cat, he squeaked, I know I'm small, but if you let me go, I promise to help you one day. Felix laughed loudly. You. A tiny mouse. Help me, a big, strong cat. That's impossible. But Milo pleaded, please, give me a chance. You never know when you might need a little friend. Amused, Felix decided to spare Milo. Fine, you're free to go, he said, thinking he would never need help from such a small creature. Days went by, and one afternoon, Felix was exploring the village when he suddenly got caught in a trap set by the villagers. He struggled and struggled, but the ropes held him tight. Felix began to panic. Just then, Milo appeared. He saw Felix trapped and remembered his promise. Without hesitation, Milo rushed over and began nibbling at the ropes with his tiny, sharp teeth. Felix was amazed at how quickly Milo worked. In no time, the ropes were cut, and Felix was free. Felix looked down at the little mouse with gratitude. Thank you, Milo. I never thought a small mouse could help a big cat like me, he said, humbled. Milo smiled. Sometimes, even the smallest creatures can make a big difference. From that day on, Felix and Milo became good friends. Felix no longer chased mice, and the other animals in the village learned that friendship and kindness could come from the most unexpected places. Moral of the story, never underestimate the power of kindness and friendship. Even the smallest among us can make a big difference.